Hello. Hi. So the most difficult time of the day for me is I think the morning when I when I wake up. There's just this weird feeling. It feels like Groundhog Day every day I wake up and a uh, lot of anxiety and, and fear. What's happened in the night, you know, in terms of the coronavirus, in terms of, you know, around the world, in, in terms of like my family or friends, what's happened and yeah, a lot of fear, you know, turning on my phone and seeing the news. I actually now, I I take my time instead of like waking up, turning the news on, I, I do some meditation first or some relaxation, start my day um, or visualizations and I actually try now to 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 get up to to do my meditation to even have breakfast before I turn my phone on before I turn the news on and I just find it's a better way to start my day. So in terms of the news, um, look, I'm finding it hard to switch off if I'm honest. So there's the there's the BBC. What I use is the BBC live feed. I've now found it really just too overwhelming. Uh, there's so much on there and. So I'm trying to skim it now rather than like read every detail. It's 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 just too much for me otherwise. Um I mean I've also got uh like a London live feed. I've got I've got a a, a local one, Hertfordshire. It's a lot and it's it's yeah, some of it's really tough reading. Um yeah. It's hard. I mean I'm trying to balance it all out with um uh, I feel bad saying this, but yeah, with comedy um, on Netflix. So box set. So at the moment I'm watching, um, there's an amazing comedy called Kath and Kim. You might have seen, it's an Australian comedy. And um, I just started watching it from the beginning. And it's just a tonic. It's a tonic and it's a form of escapism. Sometimes I, sometimes I can I watch an episode or something else and I just almost forget you know, the, 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 the difficult time that we're in. Every few days I go to the shop and get my stuff, my essentials. And then I'll also usually pick up maybe flowers or like a plant like this. I mean, this was just one pound 50, so really cheap. And I don't know, it just, it's really, it helps to, so when I bought these, they were in their buds and I've watched them grow and come alive and uh, to be able to, nurture them and like water them um just a little bit um yeah and this is my i base myself in the living room so just having these um watching them looking at them it, i just find it really helpful we talked about the flowers and plants and kind of sense of sight and seeing things that make you feel good so for me also um I don't know, I've got like a strong sense of smell, so smelling things that make you feel good as well. Uh, I try and do that Ooh, regularly. Um, so I burn a lot of incense and there's some beautiful incense sticks out there and very cheap. Well, yeah, relatively cheap. And um, all you need is incense and a box like this thing. Uh, you can get it online. I'm gonna put links at the bottom uh, most of the stuff you can get on like Amazon um, but yeah particularly when I'm feeling like stressed or anxious just burning some incense and just breathing it in and just I just find it really calming um, so incense and also candles as well um, burning this one oh sorry um, this one in particular I find that with candles um, I mean there's a lot of cheap candles out there and they're okay, but if you want like really decent smelling, long lasting candles, maybe you have to spend a, a little bit more, but it's worth it, I think, because they last longer and they s the smell lingers as well. So, um, oh, this one is, uh, it's called This Works. Again, I'll put a link down the bottom and it's just so relaxing and just, particularly for bed, this is one for sleep. Um, I can't stop sniffing it. This is my kitchen. It's not mine, I'm renting, but kitchen. Uh, it's kind of like cribs. Um, so at the moment I'm trying to cook and be healthy and which is unlike me. I think the temptation is to 
you know, eat, eat a lot of crap and, and get takeaway, which is absolutely fine because it's a difficult time. But for me, I guess I'm using this time as yeah, a time to cook and time to experiment. I've never really experimented with food, so I don't know. Um, let's have a look in the fridge. This is like cribs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, since lockdown, been getting lots of like fruit, veg, which is really unlike me, but there's some good stuff out there. Um, I mean, avocados, yeah, good mood foods. They call it good mood food, and I think it does help, actually. I feel, yeah, I feel it helps. Uh, blueberries, another sort of good mood food. Um, uh, chocolate, God, gotta have chocolate, obviously. So actually, there's healthier chocolate. There's actually something called Ombars out there, which is, um, so coconut sugar and coconut milk is a healthier alternative. And I'll, again, I'll put a link to the Ombars down below. But as well as food, um, hydration, drinking is really important during this time. And I think because I'm at home, I am, I'm drinking more. Usually I'm out and about and traveling and I forget to drink and being at home, it's easier. Uh, I think because I got my toilet here, <laughs> so I know I can pee when I want to. Whereas, you know, when I'm like out and about, I don't know when I'm going to pee next. The, you know that sort of thing. So we've talked about uh, like what you what you what you're seeing and what you're smelling and what you're tasting, what you're eating during this time. I guess next sense maybe like touch. So for me, I'm having a lot of a uh, lot of baths because I find baths really relaxing, just that warm water, lying back, and just, yeah, really relaxing. And for me, actually, I'm using now a lot of Epsom salts. Um, Epsom salt, this particular one, uh, Epsom salt bedtime blend with lavender and chamomile. Again, I'll put a link at the bottom, just really relaxing, just really like, uh, on the subject of like, touch and feeling good, uh, I'm starting to use things like face wash and, and moisturizer again. Uh, it's really important, I think, during this time to nourish yourself as best as you can. So, I like to use things like jojoba oil. I find that jojoba oil, other oils, really good. I have pretty dry, sensitive skin, I've got dandruff, all that jazz. Um, I find the oils are really helpful. Again, on the subject of, of touch, um, I recently got uh, an acupressure mat. This is, you might have seen this. Um, I get, a, particularly actually recently, I've had a lot of like neck pain, like shoulder pain, like really a lot of tension. And I find the mat is really good, not just for the body actually, but for the mind. I mean, it's, it's a bit painful, but you get used to it. And oh, it's just, I find it really relaxing. So um, I like, ow. On the, on the mat, and uh, we'll often do some meditation actually on here. What I, what I also got, again I'll put a link, uh, is, a, is an eye pillow. This has got lavender in, so, do you know what? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel really guilty buying things for myself, but again, I think especially during this time, it's okay, you, you need to look after yourself. And so I'm trying to do that as best I can. Good night. <laughs> talked a lot about different senses. I haven't really talked about hearing and, you know, I'm living on my own, so there is a lot of silence. Sometimes that's hard. That silence is not good for my head. So um, recently I discovered this music that you're listening to it's lots on YouTube and it's just really soothing <laughs> and good for the, the silences. <laughs> but it's also important to listen to your favourite tunes that make you feel really, really good. Yeah. Dance with me! Woo! Um, when, you, when, I, when I've had a really rubbish day, half an hour, my favourite tunes, my little nightclub, changes everything. I wanna dance.